A draft revision to the 2008 Northern Spotted Owl Recovery Plan is available for a 60-day public review period. The proposed refinements will help the agency better address the Pacific Northwest forest dwellers' current threats and recovery needs. The Northern Spotted Owl was listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act in 1990 and continues to decline. The draft revision is not an overhaul of the existing recovery plan, but includes significant refinements based on scientific and technological advancements, especially related to evaluating suitable habitat. When we have done our annual studies of spotted owls, we found that in seven of the 11 study areas that we look at, uh, when we're evaluating both occupancy, survival, reproduction, and distribution across the landscape, that the spotted owl numbers are declining in seven of the 11 areas. In the four remaining areas, they're remaining stable. Um, so we don't have any areas where spotted owls are actually increasing. At the time we listed spotted owls, we knew that it would take uh, several decades for the spotted owl numbers to increase. However, the rate of decline that we're finding now is more significant and greater than we thought it would be at the time that we listed it. The main threats to the spotted owl are past and current habitat loss from timber harvest and catastrophic wildfires, and also competition from the barred owl. Uh, we don't know what the impact will be from future climate change, but we're trying to address some of those uh, aspects in the draft recovery plan. This recently released draft has a number of changes from our 2008 plan. It takes a closer look at habitat, which is one of the uh, key comments we got back from our peer reviewers. In response to that comment, we've developed a tool that will help us evaluate different habitat conservation scenarios and look at how the spotted owls will persist across the landscape over time. The team that we pulled together for the habitat analysis consists of a collaborative group of interagency spotted owl experts who are experts in habitat and analysis and mapping. Uh, the habitat analysis um, involved uh, uh, consulting habitat experts across the range to determine the habitat needs of spotted owls in all areas of its range. Uh, the latest computer vegetation data uh, that was available for mapping and an exhaustive literature review to determine the differential habitat needs of the species in different parts of its range. This process is important because it provides a holistic view of spotted owl needs across the range and across all ownerships, and that's a view that we haven't seen before. We haven't undertaken this endeavor before because it's an exhaustive effort that requires a great deal of time and staff resource, and we haven't had that opportunity in the past. One of the things we're doing is looking at how occupied habitat and high quality unoccupied habitat could be protected and managed to facilitate spotted owl conservation. As barred owls move through the spotted owl range, it becomes more important to protect areas where spotted owls are currently living as well as protect areas in which they might find uh, refuge. Thirdly, we're going to look at the role of non-federal lands in conserving the spotted owl. Federal lands are not spread uniformly across the landscape, and there may be areas where non-federal lands can help uh, provide key connectivity and linkages for spotted owls to move across the landscape and maintain a range-wide distribution. Lastly, one of the key things that we're going to do in this revision is look at emerging markets and how those might provide an economic incentive to facilitate spotted owl conservation on private lands. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's ultimate goal in this revision is to improve on a recovery plan that is scientifically durable, has widespread support among varied stakeholders, and will promote spotted owl recovery in a timely and cost-effective manner. The proposed revision is a solid step in this direction, and we invite public comments to help us improve the plan even further.